May I play with you, monsieur? A lot of this history is not known. I hope this won't be embarrassing for you. That? Joseph Bologna was both a real composer and a virtuosic violin player in pre-revolutionary France. He was hugely influential and well regarded by many of his musical contemporaries. And of course the music would be spectacular. Bold. He moved with such confidence and strength. I realized the more I excelled, the less I was alone. Chevalier tells the story of a person who is an outsider by definition, who feels that if he excels, that he will be accepted by that society. He wins over the approval of the king and the queen. I, Marie Antoinette, queen of France, hereby anoint you, Joseph Bologna, Chevalier. I think she recognizes that he deserves to be in what she sees as a very regal environment within the court, and she thinks he deserves to be within that, but also because he's her friend and she really wants to keep him close. The show-off who spoiled Mozart's concert. His reputation grew. He became a bit of a celebrity. His company was much sought after. Even though Joseph was invited to participate in the upper echelons of French society, there was a conditionality to it. In any other country, a man of your color would not be wearing such fine clothes. We connected through what it's like to be in spaces that aren't necessarily catered to you. I think it's a real shame that I didn't know about him, and I'm very glad that I know about him now. Well, you cannot afford to make any more enemies. A lot of people who had impactful lives are left out of this larger historical narrative. Our movie is interested in reclaiming some of those voices.